Hello, I'm Brian Roten, senior reporter at Hotel News Now. I'm sitting here with Jen Gribble, vice president of Avid Hotels. We are here in the first to open Avid Hotels. So this one's going to be opening up pretty soon, am I correct? Yes, our first Avid Hotel on Earth is going to open up in mid-August, so we're very close. We're excited. What brought you to Oklahoma City? It was really important for us to have an incredible sponsor, someone that saw the same vision as us and was going to bring it to life in a great way. And so we're so excited that Champion Hotels is that sponsor and they decided to build here in Oklahoma City. So Champion Hotels is a very seasoned, experienced developer and they've been part of our owner advisory board. So they've been along with us on the whole journey of brand development. Um, so we're really excited about how things are taking shape and we know it's going to be a successful opening. Can you walk me through a little bit of the uh, creation process for the Avid brand? Yeah, first um, we made sure that there was a great business case there. So we um, uncovered underserved travelers. So there was about 12 million underserved travelers that represent about $20 billion in annual travel revenues. So we had a really clear target and then we looked to understand their needs and wants so that we could design a hotel experience that was going to win with them. But we also had to make sure that we designed a hotel experience that was going to deliver strong owner returns. And so that was equally as important. So to do that, we created an owner advisory board who have been with us every part of this journey as we've developed this brand. With starting this new brand, I'm curious about the development process. How has that been in terms of signings, the pace of development, the construction experience for the first property? Uh, can you share some more details about that? Yeah, we've had incredible momentum. We released our franchise disclosure document in September of last year, and in the first nine months, we had over 100 signings. So there's been incredible owner interest, and I think we can contribute it to the strong partnership we had with owners during the development. And so owners feel really good that we've developed a brand that's going to be easy to maintain, simple to operate, and it's going to deliver strong owner returns. So what have you learned from the development of this property in particular, and how is that going to translate to you know, future builds of Avid Hotels and for potential new brands under IHG? Mm -hmm. So as a part of the process, we've had this owner advisory board, which I've spoken to, which helps us leverage the experience of developers and operators. What we've also done is we've tested things early and often. So we have a design center in Atlanta, which is a big warehouse, where we test things early out of foam core to understand if the space is going to work. And then along the way through the brand design journey, we continue to prototype higher fidelity models of that to make sure that the design continues to work for owners and we invite guests into the space too so that we can keep learning. So when we get to the construction of a hotel like the one we're sitting in right now, we know it's going to work. And so it's been incredibly powerful in making sure we bring to life a meaningful brand. So how would you say this compares to uh, you know, other recently uh, developed ISG brands, uh, some that have been debuted in the past couple of years? Yeah, this brand is unique because we're going after a very unique set of guests and this brand is exclusively designed for them. Um, and we also have a really clear owner target in mind and we've worked with them to develop it. And I think because of that, we're bringing something um, very unique um, that's going to win in the marketplace because of that focus. What is the future of Avid Hotels? What are you looking at in terms of markets you're targeting, uh, your footprint domestically, internationally, dual branding possibilities, things like that? Uh, well, we feel Avid Hotels, because of that large target that we're going after, can be a very large-scale brand across the United States. And so we're excited to see all those 100-plus signings uh, come to market. And we've recently launched in Canada and Mexico, so we see the potential to continue to expand the footprint, um, not only to those markets, but even further globally. So those are things that we continue to assess the relevance of Avid Hotels out further into the marketplace. Great. Well, thank you very much for uh, joining me here today. Uh, thank you all for watching, and uh, keep tuned to Hotel News Now for future news about Avid Hotels. Thank you.